we would like to thank Screenplay and Boomy Langit for providing us with this film. Remember the name, Boomy Langit. Remember the name, because this is a BCU movie. This is not an MCU movie. You are watching the first of a cinematic superhero universe here at, and I can't believe I didn't say this up front, Midnight Madness! And I am so excited to be watching this movie with you tonight because my first Midnight Madness film was the Hong Kong film SBL. And there is not a better audience in the world to watch a martial arts film than Midnight Madness. And what I'm so excited is that not only is this movie awesome, but it is the beginning of a whole road to even more awesome. There is going to be movie after movie leading up to an Avengers-style event in Indonesia with all the best Indonesian filmmakers, all the best Indonesian martial artists, and this is just the beginning. Let's meet its Kevin Feige, Joko Anwar! Thank you so much for coming. Now I'm very nervous because <laughs> this guy <laughs> amplify everything to a hundred thousand times. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, two years ago, me and my producers over there had a dream of making our own uh, Indonesian superhero. Because every time we go to a theater, we see four out of five studios were occupied by Marvel, Marvel or DC uh, films. So we want to copy the success. <laughs> because we are very naive <laughs> and young. So um, my producers raised a couple million dollars and we shot this film in 70, 70 real lo locations because in Indonesia, we do not have soundstage studio to shoot films like in the US. So we shot everything uh, on location. Uh, we have a uh, very de dedicated cast and crew. We work probably 20 hours a day <laughs> or more and so. So this is the result tonight you're going to see. First time ever outside Indonesia, you guys are going to see it first. <laughs> and uh, of course, it's not Marvel or DC, but I hope you're going to enjoy it anyway. Thank you. And uh, we're doing something kind of special tonight. Yes. If you ask a question, you will get a exclusive Gundala TIFF poster, and you will get one a English translated Gundala comics book. So this is <laughs> um, we publish a comic book to accompany the film. Uh, it based on the background of the characters that I made uh, for each characters. They made into a very beautiful comic book. Uh, one of the illustrators was also working for DC and Marvel, I believe. Yeah. So this is an exclusive English edition exclusively for Midnight Madness audience. <laughs> Only 20 in the world. Huh? Only 20 in the world. Only 20 in the world. <laughs> Only 20 copies. So we bring 15 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> because we keep five because we love it too much <laughs> for ourselves. Okay. I want so, one. Yeah. I want one. I want to make you sure want I get one. one. Right. 14 right. then. 14. The first question I have, I, I want one. I'm okay. going to then throw to the audience because I have a question. <laughs> you win. Uh, and that's in the. Uh, Bumi Langit universe, why was it important to start with Gundala as the first hero? I will let my producer, the Bumi Langit uh, director, to answer okay. that. Gundala, I mean, is one of the 1,100 characters that we have under our wow. library. And uh, we're proud to be, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, the pioneer of Asian superhero. Uh, Gundala is actually uh, in this the, the, our universe. It has uh, certain uh, characters, features that actually uh, he's, uh, has the ability to unite other people. And that's important for the upcoming movies where other heroes are you know, popping around left and right. So yeah, like the woman, the woman that appears at the end of the movie, he's, he's that would be, be the equivalent for a DC audience to be like, oh my gosh, Wonder Woman just showed yeah. up. <laughs> so true. 
Uh, she's actually the first uh, superhero of Indonesia. So the first superhero of Indonesia actually is superheroine. It's in 1954, 18 years before Captain Marvel, actually. <laughs> Great. All right. I'm going to throw it to... There is you, a, you want a comic book? I want a comic book, though. Please. I want one. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. All right. First, I Pick saw you had, a, you had your hand up there. Yes. What's your question? Yes. Characters? Uh, in, in a movie that's full of action, the, uh, Gundala uh, Senkaka is very silent and stoic. What was... The, the sort of idea behind making the character? Oh, it's, uh, Sanchaka is actually a representation of Indonesian, uh, in the Indonesian now, because uh, we, most of the time, chose not to, uh, uh, yeah, um, let our voice uh, heard, even though we, we worried about, we, we have many concerns about human rights and uh, many other things, but we, often chose to stay silent. So Sanchaka is actually the, the representation of Indonesian uh, people uh, at the moment. Because uh, it's a very different character from the, like the, like has, he has a different origin in the original. Uh, he, oh, the same origin actually. Because oh. uh, we made this origin of Sanchaka based on the notes from the author. Oh, okay. So the origin is not in the comic books, only in this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, since uh, we did not have much money to put a lot of action and spectacles. So we just made the origin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for this movie. Mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, in the next film we can have more things going on. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Come collect your comic book. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe right we there. just take them home. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Well, but the question specifically about the choreography, like what went into the choreography? About the choreography and everything else, right? Uh, he was asking how long did we shoot the film? Okay, let me tell you something. Most of the films, either the action scenes or the drama scenes, most of them was done in one take. <laughs> Do you know why? Because there was no, there was simply not enough time to do um, more than one or two takes because we have to set up the, 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 the sets. The set looks amazing and it took a lot of time and the lighting. So what we did is while people uh, doing the lighting and the setting, uh, the actors will uh, rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. So when they went into the set, it will only take uh, one, one take. At one, uh, at one point, uh, my Sanchaka actor came up to me and saying, we did a lot of one take okay shots. Did you, when I went home, did you take another uh, film with other actor? Because <laughs> he was a species that he was replaced by, by some other actors because everything is one take. <laughs> so yeah, uh, most of the time it's one take. Yeah. Come collect it. Over here. Yes, right at front, I have Seriously, to Seriously, if you see the, the, the inside of the comic book, it's amazing. <laughs> look at this, look at this. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> yeah, speak oh, about the, com wow, the score. Okay, I, I was just telling my, uh, my agents and my managers uh, today um, how we did the scoring. The scoring was very beautiful, but the string session was actually done by only three people uh, in one small studio, and it was in my Instagram. If you want to check it out, uh, it's, it's there. So yeah, uh, could you tell us more about uh, uh, about the, how the scale of the production. It looks big, but actually the, the how, how was it? Thank well, you. yeah, I mean, we, we were tight on budget. It was the first movie of this kind, and you know, we just wanted to do something as great as possible with the limitations we had. So the guys working behind the screen was amazing, you know? I mean, these guys were working really hard to make it look the way it was uh, at a certain budget, and you know, we know there's limitations for things, and we know it's not the best, but we'll get there. Yeah, but start yeah, somewhere. but the guys working behind were were like great. They're the waving the hands really frantically. Yes, you. How many yes. people have questions? <laughs> so you know, maybe we have to.
Do you, what kind of pressure do you feel like from the fans, like with the expectations that? Oh wow, uh, yeah, uh, the expect expectation of the fans were, were really big. So before we released the film, uh, we had more than two thousand fan arts made for fan arts made for these films, and uh, people actually made three hundred songs for the film. You heard some of yeah. the songs. Some of the music that was playing as you came in were, was fan music that yeah, fans we were just generating for the So film. we just put the, the fan music at the end of the end credits. So yeah. And after we released the film, uh, there was about 1,000 more uh, fan arts done uh, for the film. And uh, you can see in my Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. <laughs> right back over there. Yes, you waving your hand. Do we still have enough? Oh, uh, we have to update the sensibility of the storytelling from the comic book because it was published since 1969 to 1983. Uh, yeah. So we could not just take uh, directly from the page. We have to update the sensibility, including the costume and everything. But the spirit of the of the character is still intact. Come on down, you. It just came out in Indonesia, like literally last week. It like, was right? released two weeks ago and it's doing really well. And uh, we broke the milestone 1 million. Uh, the milestone 1 million people in uh, seven weeks. Seven, and days, now, seven days. Seven days? Sorry, seven weeks. Seven days. And for Indonesia, it's very big. And now we are uh, 1.5 million. Audience. Okay, Indonesia has doesn't talk about box office uh, revenue. It only talks about uh, attendance. Yeah, right there. When can we expect the sequel? And maybe you could talk about what what is being planned for the sequel. Like, what's the where where what's the next story? Coco, uh, okay. when's the next sequel? <laughs> well, we're gonna be very busy next year. Uh, we're actually gonna be producing four movies next year. And uh, we have announced actually one of them gonna be directed by um, people, you know, uh, Timo Cahyanto. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you who know, did, uh, yeah, who did Headshot, The Night Comes for Us. They're yeah, doing so. Yeah. Uh, they're doing so, uh, so we're gonna be projecting four movies, and for next year, we're gonna be releasing two movies. And the other, uh, so we're gonna be releasing starting next I gotta year, go like with two, double hand. Two movies every year. Not to give people for clues, but. Is there distribution in place for North America yet? It's in discussion right now. You'll you'll have it soon, though. People actually have been emailing me all month. Like, they're talking about it. Do you want a comic or not? <laughs> okay. I I'm know. so sad, actually. I know <laughs> this is going to be tragic when it gets to the end. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The young actors. Yes. The question is about the young actors in terms of when it went into casting them, or how did you find your how did you find the young Sankaka and Awang? Oh, Awang, Awang, Awang uh, was actually the son of Cecep Rahman, uh, the one, the, the dancer, the dancer fighter, yeah. the one with the mask. He, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. in who also who he also choreographed yeah, he the film choreographed and the, he was in the raid too yeah. and. Yeah, he was terrific. in John Wick. Uh, Chechep was in John Wick three, and he was in the Raid. So, and that's his son. Yeah, that's his son. And the father was very hard on the son. <laughs> <laughs> Most um, of the time, I feel pity for the son. <laughs> right, right there, blue shirt. Yeah. I don't think they actually it, the light. <laughs> I don't think they actually electrocuted their actors, but oh, the lightning, real lightning, yeah. <laughs> we just wait until it rains really hard and just let the actors stand in rain and let them being struck get, by get electrocuted. <laughs> but yeah, okay. but, yeah, right there. <laughs> yes.
It's based on Pencak Silat, which was in the, the Raid uh, films. But a little bit of everything because uh, the character live in the street, so he's supposed to learn everything from a little bit of everything from uh, everywhere. But actually, uh, one thing about this film, this film was designed to be a PG-13 film, so we did not have a lot of blood. And in Indonesia, it is a PG-13 movie. So when I saw on the tickets, it say 19 plus, well, I was like, wow. That's because our friends at Spinach keep things <laughs> mad at midnight. Yeah, so this movie doesn't have uh, enough violence or blood. And even the fighting style, we want it to be still realistic without, you know, being too stylish. That's why we keep it very real realistically and, um, hang on, hang on. yeah. Right, right there, waving, waving uh, your hand, and then we're gonna go the next with the phone hand. Those are two in a row. First, you, yes. Is is the villain at the end a Thanos level villain? I actually asked Joko this a backstage, and there's even. There's an even bigger villain who's He's a not even a let lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even lieutenant. Yeah. The general will be wow. <laughs> the the one thing that we have in our universe is like we don't have scientists, we don't have aliens, we don't have anyone coming from a different planet. So, you know, you'll get these kind of villains coming in. And then the one someone was waving their phone earlier. What's your question? How much of a consideration of, of trying to do something new was there? Every time I, I'm a big fan of uh, superhero movies. Um, uh, I'm, I'm more a DC fan than Marvel, but I love Marvel as well. I love Marvel. I'm agnostic. Uh, yeah. Um, but every time I see a, a, a superhero film, I wish there were more character background and character development, so uh, that's what, we, we, what we're trying to do in this film. So we really make the characters um, uh, have a very complete background, so people can root more for the character. Yeah. Okay, and, and I think the last thing we wanted to be was uh, to be a Marvel or DC wannabe, so you know, yes. we tried as much as possible to be you know, original in a way. Okay, one, and then I'm gonna go there, and then I'm gonna go there, and those are the last three questions. Sorry, guys. I they were there. It was completely random. You, you, last three, last three right? Yeah. We have three more. Okay, but, so you first. How how steeped are these characters in Indonesian mythology? All these characters were rooted from Indonesian mythology, so it's going to be different from any uh, sub, uh, superhero universe that we know because it's, it's not about alien, like my producer said, it's about Indonesian mythology. And um, it's going to be, um, as you see in the end, you see the, 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 oh, the uh, arc feeling uh, coming out of the wall. It's also based on Indo Indonesian uh, comic books, which is very rooted in, in Indonesian mythology. So it's going to be very dense in uh, mythology. Okay, and there was last the one, one. The one, yeah, the last one. Oh, last one. Yeah. okay, yeah. So you, sorry. Yeah, because Joe, I don't know if people know, but Joe was uh, made a lot of horror movies, and I actually really love that this film is soaked in a horror atmosphere. I thought that was really interesting. But what was that feeling of jumping from horror to superhero? Oh, oh, sorry. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, I never, I never think up, uh, anything in the process of filmmaking is uh, difficulty. It's only a challenge for me, and the biggest challenge in uh, making a superhero film is to. Um, it's, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is actually. Um, Working with actors, I really love working with actors. 
So what I did with the with the characters, with the actors, I write, I wrote uh, the history of the character from the day they were born, what kind of family they were born into, what school they went to, and what kind of environment they, they grew up in. And um, I gave it to each actors, even though they only have one line in the film. So when they come into the set, they're not just an actor saying a line, but they come as a character, full character. They know where they uh, come from and what they motivation in, in, a, in, in, the, in the story. So that's, I think, the, 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 my, my favorite thing in, in making fi films, including this film. And the background of the characters that I wrote for each characters result in this comic uh, book that some of you Got it. So basically, Joko <laughs> likes to play God. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> so this belongs to the gentleman, right? Yeah, I think so. I think I lost mine in the in the shuffle, unfortunately. All right. Well, guys, wow. give a big round of applause that we just did it. Thank you so much for playing Q and Gundala. Oh, um, if you like the film, please vote for the film at Tiff. Dot net slash vote. Please vote if you like it. Because uh, because it will mean so much for my cast and crew. They've been asking about it. Uh, did people? But did many people? Did many, did many people stay uh, at Q and A? Tell them to vote and some. You know. So please vote. And anyone want posters? It's up here. Just take it. That's an old one. Oh wow! <laughs> this is my my third movie. Oh okay, sorry. Guys, we we can't do an autograph session on the stage, unfortunately. So we're gonna move. Okay. out into the, the Ryerson to do autographs. Yes. Thank you. Let's, let's, let's go down.